Good morning, everybody. Uh, I've got a new little thing I came up with, uh, War Thunder Quick Tips. It's going to be short little informational videos just kind of explaining something helpful that I feel like maybe everybody doesn't know, or if you do know, maybe you don't know how to do it. So for the first one, starting out today with War Thunder Quick Tip number one, it's going to be how to save and export your control configuration file. So every now and again, something causes your controls to get reset. Sometimes it's an update, sometimes it's a patch that happens, sometimes it's just you log into War Thunder one day and your controls are gone, reset back to default. So that really sucks. There are a lot of control options in War Thunder and it's something you don't want to have to restart from scratch again. So it's a great idea to export your controls and save them so that you can re-upload them at a later point. But how do you do that? Well, it's actually pretty easy, at least on PC anyways, it is. Xbox and PlayStation players, I don't actually know if you can do this, but it should be something similar to this if you can save it to some sort of folder on your Xbox or your PlayStation. I hope you can. I would think you'd be able to, but I don't have either of those. So anyway, this is how you do it on PC. Anyways, go to your controls and then come down here to this save icon and you'll see it says export to file. So first off, make sure your controls are actually what you want them to be because there's no point in saving them and then going and making a bunch of adjustments. Although if you do make adjustments, just save it again. So anyway, you click right here on export to file. That brings up a window. I save my stuff to my desktop as you can see here. And then you just hit save right here. You just name it something that you want it to be. So in this case, 10 July controls on my desktop, and you just navigate to wherever you want to save it. I save it to my desktop and just keep it there because it's an easy, fast way to get it. Then you hit save, and there you go. It's now exported to your desktop. Now let's say that your controls do get reset all the way back to default and they're gone. So if I hit clear all here, are you sure? No, I really don't want to, but I'll do it for the video. Okay. Now. We come into import from file and you select your file, navigate to where it was, hit open and bam, there's all your controls back the way they were. So that this also would let you, for instance, transfer your save control setups to another PC via a share drive or a thumb drive, for instance. And then to import them again, you just do what I did there and then you're back in business. And personally, I suggest that you do this monthly until you get your controls actually set up to where you realize that you're not making adjustments to your controls and then after that just do a backup anytime like a new control setting appears and you set a button for it or anytime that you make a major change to your controls or anytime that there's a new major patch about to release so when dev blogs start coming out and the dev server comes out that's a great time to export your controls also the dev server will almost never have your controls set up the way you want. So you can import your control setup here into the dev server and actually not have to waste time on the dev server setting up your controls there. So that's another re way that it's useful. And that's all, that's all there is to it. Saving your controls and then uploading a saved control file. That's how you do it. So I hope this helps some of you out. Don't let yourself get caught with no controls on a day that you want to play some War Thunder. Let me know uh, any other ideas you have. I've got one other already that I'm working on for a War Thunder quick tip. And um, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.